So there you go. So you can change it to Apple, Assassin's Creed, and all these other ones. <laughs> What's up guys and welcome back to the hack spot now it looks like we got a Christmas gift early before the holidays And that is an iOS 10.1 through 10.1.1 jailbreak guys. This is so insane. It's dropped out of nowhere I've got so much to talk about and I'm going to be compiling everything into this one video for you guys So we have all that information in one place All right So with those project zero exploits Luca Tedesco did say that there was a high chance that he would complete and finalize a jailbreak for us to use now many people did doubt him but he did come through he did release a joke break this is so epic thank you so much luca tedesco for all your hard work all of us completely appreciate it but anyways guys right now the ios 10.1 through 10.1.1 joke break is currently in beta it's not the full and final release of the joke break that's going to be coming out later this is kind of really the first time we've seen a joke break in beta and be able to use it but yeah it is public anyone could jailbreak their device but again because it is a beta it is glitchy it is unstable and has the potential to screw up up your device right now it's mostly meant for developers and not really for users but if you want a jailbreak you still can but it is highly recommended that you wait for the full and final release of the jailbreak and not jailbreak with the beta so mobile substrate is not working and that is done purposefully because again this is meant for developers not users but still now there is a way to get mobile substrate working so you can install loads of tweaks and have them running on your ios 10 device but again glitchy and unstable i will be showing you guys how to get it working though if you want to do it but Again, do at your own risk or simply just wait for the full and final release of the joke break I will have a video on that as well as soon as that is released But again as of right now since the iOS 10 joke break is fairly new many tweaks may not be working So yeah, it is always good to just wait out for the full and final release of the joke break It's going to be a lot more stable less glitches less potential for screwing up your device and more tweaks will be working But anyways those of you who updated to iOS 10.2 or are below 10.1 as you guys may have heard iOS 10.2 10.1 and 10.1.1 have stopped being signed by Apple, meaning they can no longer downgrade or update to 10.1 or 10.1.1, which currently are the only jailbreakable firmwares. This really sucks. So if you are an iOS 10.1 or 10.1.1, you can jailbreak, but if you aren't, uh, you, you can no longer downgrade because Apple stopped signing it. There's no way to do that anymore. Now, let's talk about supported devices before we actually get to jailbreaking. The devices that are supported by the iOS 10 through 10.1.1 10 jailbreak are the iPhone 7, the iPhone 7 Plus, the iPhone 6S, the iPhone 6s plus and last but not least the ipad pro other devices are not supported yet more 64-bit devices will be supported in the near future but as of now those are devices that are supported and unfortunately i don't think 32-bit devices will be supported ever so if you have the iphone 5 5c 4s those are 32-bit devices and they will not be supported by the jailbreak unfortunately now Sarik did update city impactor so you could get the jailbreak on your device using it by of course side loading but you do need to download and install the latest version anyways now with that all out of the way, let's get right to doing the jailbreak. All right, so you will need this guy right here, but that's basically all you need. You need to plug your device into your computer, and of course, make sure that you do have iOS 10.1 or 10.1.1 on your device. Those are currently the only two supported iOS 10 firmers for this jailbreak. And again, I would recommend that you guys wait for the full and final release of the jailbreak. But still, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to use this beta jailbreak, but just be careful. But anyways, once you are plugged in, this jailbreak works on both Mac and Windows because it does work with Cydia Impactor. So let's get started. All right, so once you are on your computer, you will need two things. Things. First is City Impactor. Again, all the links will be down below inside the description. And here's City Impactor. Now, guys, if you do already have City Impactor installed, you do want to remove it and install this new version. This is version 0.9.35. It was released on December 21st, and this is the newest version that you guys will need. Now, it's available for Mac OS X, Windows, and even Linux, so it's going to download for your computer. So I have Mac, so I'm going to click on this one, and the download will start. Now, the second thing you will need is right here. This is the actual jailbreak, and you guys could read this too if you want to. No warranty implied, blah, blah, blah. I am not a lawyer, and it says a bunch of other stuff too. Do not install unless you know what you are doing and here are some down links click on any one of these i'm gonna click on the first one and the download will start so now we are done with our internet browser we can x out of here and what you want to do is first install Cydia Impactor. So Cydia Impactor, let me go and open up the DMG file. Now let's just go and drag and drop it to the applications folder. Go and open up the applications folder now. And what you want to do is right click on this, click on open and click on open again. Now the same thing goes for Windows, right click and click on open. 
and you can exit out of here. And here is Cydia Impactor. So right here, you should see your device's name. Of course, make sure that you do have iTunes installed and their device does show up inside iTunes. Otherwise, it will not show up inside Cydia Impactor. And once it is showing up inside iTunes, you can close out of here. Just quit out of iTunes. And again, make sure your device shows up right here. So now take that jailbreak file that we downloaded. It's right here. It's an IPA. Just simply drag and drop it on top of this, just like that. And now type in your Apple ID. Hit OK. And now type in your password. Hit OK. And now it will start installing the jailbreak app onto her device. Now this take a little bit of time. It will just pop up on her device somewhere. And boom, there it is. It's popped up. And now we can go and exit out of City Impactor. And we won't need our computer anymore. So unplug. So now all you got to do is tap on this app that we got. It's kind of like blank. Go and tap on it. It'll go ahead and just do its thing and then exit out. And there you go. And you'll get the Apple logo. It's going to wait for a device to boot back up. All right, there we go. We are back over here. Now I'm going to go enter my passcode real quick. And we are in. So, all right, so it did not appear. But guys, I did find out that if you have any fake Cydia installed, I said an app that said Cydia and just looked like Cydia, but it wasn't actually Cydia. Go ahead and remove it. So once you do that, go ahead and tap on this app again and it will load. And then it'll just pop up on our device right there. So in a blank space, now I have the actual Cydia app. And there it is. Now simply going to tap on it to open it up. And look at this. This is the actual real Cydia. It should go in and crash just like that. Once it does crash, tap on it again. And it will open up perfectly fine this time. Of course, make sure you're connected to internet. All right, so if Cydia is still crashing like it's doing for me, what you want to do is hold on both the lock and volume down button on the iPhone 7 and keep holding down until your device turns off. On other devices, it will be the lock and home button, but on the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, it's the lock and volume down button. Now just go and turn back your device on <laughs> and uh, just go to wait and your passcode. Again, guys, this is a buggy. And what you want to do now is open up this app right here on the left, the jailbreak app. It'll click you out, and now we are back over here. Now I'm going to tap on Cydia, and now it should actually load up. There we go. So guys, again, glitchy, but it still works. It's a beta. This pops up, just tap on done. Now guys, this is a semi-untethered jailbreak, meaning that if you turn off your device and turn it back on, if you tap on Cydia, the app will start crashing again. Now to make it stop crash, you get to open this app again the one on the left, and then Cydia will stop crashing. But every time your device dies or you turn off your device, you have to tap on the app to get Cydia to work and stop crashing. Not a big deal. It's just like with the iOS 9.3.3 jailbreak, except this one is faster. So anyways, let's get mobile substrate to work. What you want to do is tap on sources at the bottom, sources, edit on the top right, add on the top left, this prompt will pop up. I haven't said that combination of words in the longest time. So guys, in here you want to go and paste the following source or repo. It will be down below inside the description. And if you are on the YouTube app, it might not let you copy. So open up this video inside the Safari app. So you can go and copy and paste this. And it should look exactly like this. So there's a full thing right there. Tap on add source. It will start verifying the URL and add it real quick. This will get mobile substrate to work. This is basically the source that we need to basically get the tweak to make it to work. Yo, I cannot speak today. But anyways, tap on the repo. There it is, Cydia repo. Tap right there. Tap on system. And there it is, substrate fix iOS 10. Tap on there. Tap on install. Confirm. And once done, at the bottom, it'll say restart springboard. I'm going to tap on that button and it will restart your springboard. All right, so my screen went black and... Uh, it seems to be off, but the home button is still working, which is weird. So what you want to do if this happens is hold down on both the lock and volume down button again until your device completely turns off. Hold down for about 10 seconds. Again, for other devices, the lock and home button. And once that is done, going to turn it back on. Again, guys, glitchy. So there we go. We are back in. So once in, you will find a new app that looks like a jailbreak app, except this one does say substrate. So first, you want to go and run this one because Cydia is crashing. You want Cydia to not crash. And again, just wait for this to exit out. All right, so once done, now you want to open up the Cydia Substrate one. So all I gotta do is just tap on it. Simple as that. This will happen. Okay, it brought me to my lock screen. All right, so once you're back in your device, look at this, guys. Take a look at the top left. Looks like we already have a tweak called Zeppelin installed. So I have a different carrier logo. So if I go into my settings app, scroll down, I could tap on Zeppelin. And look at that. You can change this to whatever you want. So let's do, for example, okay, so there you go. So you can change to Apple, Assassin's Creed, and all these other ones. So the jailbreak tweaks are working now, but not all of them will work. Now, I also installed a tweak called PowerTap, one of my favorites. I showed it in a video a while back for the iOS 9.3.3 jailbreak. But anyways, if I go ahead and hold on my power button, we get that little slide to power off. Except now, if I go ahead and tap on it, it says slide to reboot, slide to respring, slide to enter safe mode, 
and we're back to slide to power off. So I can use any one of those using that toggle. All right, and there you have it. The iOS 10.1 through 10.1.1 semi-untethered jailbreak. This is so cool. Again, this is not the full and final release of the jailbreak. That will be coming later on. Don't know when, so don't ask me, but it is going to be very soon. I'll have a video up as soon as that is out. And yeah, guys, definitely be sure to smash that like button. We have been waiting ages for this and also be sure to get subscribed. I have so much exciting content to come. I don't even know where to start. So you're not going to want to miss out. Get subscribed and I'll catch you guys real soon in my next video. Peace out. Hello.